Yeah, where is Robert? He's uh, changing his tie. So what was the matter with the one I gave him? It was hand painted. Yeah, it was hand painted, and it was obscene. I mean, I'm all for a little bit of fun, but there is a time and place. Guys, guys. Uh, gotta find out if I'm getting that car. Oh, yes. I'll be back in a few, all right? That's perfect. Pink? Uh, no, we don't want... Uh, I've got to know. Robert! Go for it. Go for the car. I'm going to count to three, and you had better be gone. One, two, Robert. Don't you dare! Out of here! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Listen, I know you had your heart set on a car, but it's not quite the right time. So, I promise. Mm. Wow, it's, it's beautiful. It's the nicest watch I ever saw. Look at the back, there's an inscription. Love always, Mom and Dad. Yeah, it's classic, you know, it'll last a lifetime. Thanks, Mom. Mm. Oh. Dad? Congratulations, Robert. It's really something. Where are the guys see it? Cut the cake. That these numbers just don't work. They don't make any sense. What is it? Time already? Uh, look, I, you guys don't have to go ahead, and I'll I'll catch you up. I'll, I'll be there in about twenty minutes. Leave the tickets with the box office. Okay. I'll see you then. Your father's a very busy man, Robert. I know. I know, I just wish that once in a while when the choice came down to business or me, he'd choose me, that's all. Your father's a mendum, Robert, and you are a mendum. When there's a job to be done, you will do it too. Sometimes it involves sacrifice. Understand? Yeah. Come on, let's pick up your friends and go to the game. Philip, I think we should let him have a car. He doesn't even have a license yet. There are maniacs out there, Marty. Hi. Hi, Oh, Robert. How was the game? Oh, it was fine. Well, I just wanted to thank you for a great birthday and uh, say goodnight. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about tonight. We didn't even finish up here until 9.30. That's okay. It's not okay. I, w I want to make it up to you. Uh, we play racquetball Saturday. Come on, loser springs for pizza. Don't forget your wallet. Yeah, don't forget your allowance. See ya. Happy birthday, sweetie. Maybe Christmas on the car? Is it so unreasonable that a 16-year-old should be denied a car? He's never wanted for anything. Except maybe for a little attention from his father. It was an important business meeting. I've got a business to run, Marty. I'll make it up to him on Saturday. Pretty soon he'll be off to college. I don't get married. Hey, slow down, will you? We've still got a couple of years with him. 
you still take You stop it. Is that a threat? Yeah, it's a promise. That's what it is. <laughs> I always hated it when my father stood me up. I'll try. I really will. I love you, Philip. I love you, too. Coffee pot's clean. What's next? You're gonna hate me. More filing? Why don't you get a well-trained monkey? It'd be cheaper. File these in Paul's office before his 4.30 shows, and then you can work in the file room until it's time to go. Just go in? Yeah. Didn't anyone ever teach you to knock? I'm sorry, uh... I'm sorry. My hands were full and Pam said it was okay. It's okay, it's okay. Go on. Do whatever you were doing. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a lawyer out of you yet. Thank you. I told him 200,000 wasn't enough. The guild really needs three. Yeah, well, he said he'd think about it. Okay. Call you later. Bye-bye. Yes. Good as new. You know, it's amazing how one family member can be so adept at something when another shows absolutely no talent for it whatsoever. <laughs> Robert now. He called from downtown. They've confiscated Paul's files. It's bound to come out. Hello? I'm home. It was a legal adoption. I mean, money changed hands, but it was legal. Of course it was legal, but how's Robert going to feel when he finds out? It's not going to come to that. I think it has come to Look, that. Look, we made a decision. We were wrong. I don't want him to know he was adopted. been up there for hours. Maybe I should take him some dinner. Leave him alone. Just need some time. Do you think he'll ever forgive us? Marty, he's adopted. It's not a fatal disease. He has a very good life here. I made a mistake. I didn't tell him. Don't minimize what we did. We lied to him about Don't who he is. Don't go overboard about this emotionally.
So what happened after that? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Do you know Robert Mendham? Over there. Oh, thank you. Robert? Can I talk to you? Look, they meant it for the best. The fact that you were adopted didn't make any difference. Except maybe to love you more. I've always wanted a grandson. I couldn't be more proud of you. You don't even know who I am. What's going on? Are you okay? How would you be if you forked over five hundred thousand dollars in bail? Five hundred. Well, what's the story? Phil, I was being blackmailed. I got tired of paying. So he blew the whistle. Yeah, he uh, booked me on fraud, but uh, gathering evidence for stealing babies. <laughs> It must be crazy. Are Robert's papers on the level? Oh my God! You had him stolen. I'm just you trying had him. to help. Help! You call it. You ruined two families, and you call it help. What? What do the police know? Nothing. Nothing. Robert is safe. All I got is this guy's testimony, and he entered the picture way after Robert. Believe me. Look, they would never send him back. There's no precedence for this kind of case. I mean, even worst case scenario. I'm... How many? How many were there to pay for that Porsche? Robert was never given up for adoption. Never given up? No. What do you mean? You took him? His mother was unfit? No, his mother, uh, well, she didn't. She. What? He was stolen. Paul swears to me the police will never find out. Oh, my God. Marty. 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 They won't find out. Nothing's gonna change. How can you say that? Everything is different. Nothing's different. <sighs> Philip, this means that he has a family. What are you talking about? Where is family? We can't keep this from him. We'll lose him. And that's a chance we'll have to take. I forbid you to tell him. You forbid me nothing. I am his mother, and I have every proof. I have the responsibility to tell him the truth. What? Sit down. Please. I, uh... Um, not quite certain where to begin. Um, Why don't you start at the part where you decided to lie to me? Robert, it wasn't like that. We always intended to tell you. We put it off, and then we, uh... made the decision you didn't need to know. 
But I'm just as much at fault. It's just like you to decide something like that. I made a mistake, but I'm still your father. You will keep a civil tongue in your head. It is uncivil for me to point out where you went wrong, but it is all right. It's okay for you to rewrite my history. Robert. Stop it. No, both of you stop it. Robert, you have no idea how much we wanted you. How much I wanted you. I've had to make a lot of compromises in my life, but the one thing I would not abandon is my desire, my need to have a child. To have you. We tried for years, but then we found out that your father... We found out that we couldn't conceive. And so we decided to adopt. We tried all the agencies, but the waiting lists were so long. And then Paul said that he could help. And so one month later, he, he brought you to us. Did you mean my mother? No. Robert, there's something that you have to know. Martha, for God's sake, please, not here, not like this. What? Paul told us he'd found a one-year-old boy whose mother had decided to give him up. But when Paul brought you to us, you were obviously older than that. He told us that the woman had lied about your age because it was harder to place two-year-olds and that she needed the money. How much? $20,000. She raised me for two years and then sold me. No, she didn't sell you. You were taken from her. Taken? Stolen. Paul arranged it, and we had no idea until today. If we had known, we would have looked for your parents. We would have, we would have tried to send you back to them. Please, Robert. Please know how much we love you, Robert. Robert. We love you so much. Robert. anyone today, Robert? Well, he's gonna see me. Who are my parents, Paul? Who are my parents? Uh, wake up! I said, wake up, you son of a bitch! Wake up! Mr. Buell, Ohio. 
What'll it be, hon? Uh, a cheeseburger and a glass of milk, please. Thanks. All righty. Cheeseburger and a milk. Do you have a library? No, I don't. But there is one in the town hall down the street. Totem pole out front. You can't miss it. That hotel down the street, is it open? No, Joe took off for the holidays. Traveling alone? Yeah. Is that the last of 76? Thanks. my real family, Robert. He took his clothes, money, he's gone. He came into my office and he went through my file. I thought the police took everything. It was in my safe. Robert knew about it. Then he knows their identity? No, just the date and the city. Where? I don't know. He took the file. I don't know, some little town in Ohio, right by the lake, maybe five, six hour drive from here. The man who did it, would he remember? <laughs> He's been dead 10 years. that a mother can feel when her child is in danger. I believe that. I think I would know if, if Robert were hurt. He's not hurt. If he finds her, them, what do you think he'll do? What is the right thing? 
Philip, I think that we should go and look for him. The police aren't going to do anything for 72 hours. I'll hire the best investigator. I'll do the best I can. But we can't leave here if Robert calls. Well, I can't just sit here. He's my baby. And he's out there all alone. Driving all over Ohio is going to help. Then you stay. I'm going. Marty, I don't want you out there alone. That's not safe. We can't leave here. All we can do is wait. You are picked up by the time I get home, okay? Okay. Now walk Sally next door and make sure she gets in. Okay. And don't forget to call and let me know where you are. Okay. There's bologna and cheese in the fridge. And don't finish that pot. Yeah. 
up. Uh, she'll figure out something. Look, I got a mountain of laundry and two dirty little boys waiting for me. I gotta go. Okay. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, you guys. going over the books today and I think we've actually got enough socked away to take a real vacation this summer. What would you say to renting a cabin up at the lake for a week? Ruthie? No, oh, I'm sure the kids would love it, honey. Yeah, I think so too. <clears throat> we could do some fishing. You used to love fishing. You love fishing. Well, I knew it was one of us. Come with me or you can stay. Don't you think I'm doing everything I can to find out where he is? This has nothing to do with what you're doing. It has to do with what I'm doing. The world does not revolve what are around you. Doing? you. Are you going to drive from town to town all over Ohio? What is this? This doesn't make any sense. I am going to find my son. Martha. Let me go. Give me the bag. Chilla. Give me the... buy some glasses. Do you have a prescription or do you need to see the doctor? No, no, I just need to get some frames. Oh, why don't you choose what you like and then we'll have a look. That was fast. Some people agonized for hours as if it was the most important decision they were ever going to make. These may be a bit too heavy. See what I mean? Uh-huh. Let's try these. Oh, excuse me. There. Well, that's better. Yeah, they're okay. Just okay. enough to be serious and light enough for your coloring. What do you think? Um, I'll take them. That was easy. I thought I knew just about everybody around here. I don't recall seeing you before. Well, uh, I'm visiting from out of state. Oh, that explains it. I'll need your prescription. 
Well, I don't have it with me. I was just going to have it made up when I get home. Oh. Well, I've never sold just the frames before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything. Uh, that'll be um, $50 and one cent. We'll forget about the cent. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks. Thank you, I will. Bye. today. I've been going through tons of this stuff. Hi. What can I get you? Uh, some soup. Hi. You know him? No. He came in for some frames this morning. I think he's a runaway. Runaways don't come here. They go to California and New York. I never laid eyes on him before. All of a sudden, he's a regular. Sam caught him washing up in the bathroom. He's too clean cut. Besides, he has plenty of money. You don't know where he got that money. Besides, being rich is no vaccine against trouble. His parents must be worried sick. No, I, I thought it was Marty. Yeah, look, um, I'm thinking about getting Robert a car. I don't know, something uh, sporty, I guess. Uh, you can talk it over with him. John, this is Mike. Hey, hey. This is Tony. How's it going, Robert? Good How's game. it going, man? Nice to see you. Good game. All right. All right. That was a good game. You just moved here? No, I'm visiting. Busy. Yeah, I gotta go. I'll see you. Hey, yeah. man, we'll see you later. Me too. I'll see you later, man. Catch you tomorrow. All, All right. Man. How about you get going, too? Which way are you headed? Your way up. That way. Oh. Well, uh, my bike's over there, too. Uh, I'll just go with you. Sure. Let's All go. Right. 
Well, you look good. I'm in court anyway. Oh, uh, no. Flat. Well, come on, man. We can fix it at my place. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been following the bus route, putting up posters. I should be in Ohio tomorrow. It doesn't have to make sense to you. It makes sense to me. No, I can't do that, Philip. All right, I will. Bye-bye. Bus number 42, service to Cleveland and Cincinnati, is now boarding at Ramsey. My old man's teaching me how to put an engine together. You're lucky. Sounds like fun. What grade are you in? 11th, you? 10th. Yeah. How'd you get out of school during the school year? Well, I go to private school. I just make up the work. What's the matter with public? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's just sort of a family tradition, that's all. My father and his father, they both went. <laughs> that's cool. My dad went to my school and so did my mom. That's how they met. Really? Yeah. He was captain of the Bulldogs. It's our football team. It was pretty good. You should have gone to college. You could have made the pros. What position? Tight end. S H O B E L. Got it. Excellent. Now tell me something. What are you going to do with a small shovel? I think we're buried treasure with Tammy. I'm gonna go call her. Good idea. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. This is Robert. Oh, hello again. Hi. He was in the shop this morning. Oh. You hungry? Uh, no. Uh, no. I better get going. Thanks for your help, though, John. It was great seeing you again. Nice to see you, too. Hey, if you want to play, we're there usually around about 3 o'clock. If it's raining, we'll be in the gym. Great. Great. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. How much do you know about him? Oh, he's okay. Goes to a private school, visiting with relatives. And he is great at mid-court. Mm -hmm. Who? Who what? Who's he visiting? I don't know. What are you, a cop? John. Brad thinks he's a runaway. Him! No way! <laughs> Did he try to offer you drugs? Oh, Mom. Did he? No, he is not into that. How do you know? I just know. Now, why does Fran think he's a runaway? Well, he just showed up out of nowhere. He eats there all the time. He washes up in the bathroom. Mom, that does not prove anything. If he's in trouble, we should try to help him, but I don't want you to get involved until we know more. Well, we don't even know if Fran's right. No, I don't. But I intend to find out. <laughs> hey, where are the guys? They have the stuff to do. Car holding up. Great, thanks. Could I ask you something, man? Sure. I mean, you, you don't have to. You don't have to tell me. What? I, I know. I just. I'm not going to tell anybody. What, John? Did you run away from home? Where'd you get that idea, huh? You know, I, I knew it, man. I, my mother comes up with some real winners sometimes, you know? She wanted me to bring you home so she could give you the third degree. Yeah, well, what if she found out it was true? I don't know. You know? I think she called a church meeting or something. She's uh, right, isn't she? You're not in trouble with the cops. No. No. I left for personal reasons. Like, like what? Look, John, I don't want to go into it right now, okay? 
Okay. Where do you sleep? Ah. Can't believe you're living out here. Yeah, me neither. I've never really camped before. I can tell. So you got a hammer? Yeah, let me see. Uh, here we go. Thanks. Why don't you come over to my home for dinner? No, I don't want your mom to find out. Who says she has to? I'll tell her you're staying with the Smiths over on Cherry Lane. The Episcopalians, uh, we never talked to them. She'll never find out. I don't know, John. Uh, I don't know. Look, if you don't, she's gonna know she's right. But if you do, get a chance at a good meal and to prove she's wrong. <laughs> I'd think about law school if I were you. It's a very beautiful reindeer, Miss Ellie. Thank you. May I have one? Where would you keep it? In my room. In your room? Have <laughs> oh, some time. I'm glad you could make it, Robert. Thank you for inviting me. Hi, Mr. Monroe. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you, Sam. Welcome to our home. Robert, why don't you sit there? Oh, my. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> John, will you say grace tonight, please? Sure. <clears throat> Robert. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings, for our family, our health, and our faith. And thank you for bringing Robert to our table so he, too, may share in your bounty. Amen. 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 It was lovely, John. I'm sure he appreciated it. Yes, I did. Thank you. I, I think she meant God. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Where are you from, Robert? Michigan. Oh, that's a pretty state. We have family in Hastings. Is that near you? No, uh, I come from a small town. You've probably never heard of it. Uh, Pittsburgh. No. Nope. No, haven't. Earl? No. Are your mommy and daddy mad at you? Sally. Don't you want to know why he's here? It's all right. It's okay. I'm here visiting relatives. Hey, you know the Smiths over on Cherry Lane. Uh, Mrs. Smith's Robert's aunt. Smith. Smith. Do you know the girl? Is that the Smiths with the 58 two-tone Chevy? Oh, he's staying there, Wallace. Uncle's in the hospital. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't know your uncle was ill. Nothing serious, I hope. No, no. Uh, my aunt just didn't want to stay at home alone, and my mother couldn't get off work. Well, that's what families are for, to look out for each other. Robert, John tells me you're a basketball player. Yes, sir. What position do you play? Guard. Guard, yeah, you got the build for it. John's a guard, too. <laughs> Robert, you sure I can't give you a ride home? No, no, I've got my bike. But thanks, thanks for the hospitality. Okay. See? John, you coming? In a second. Now you can come back anytime you want to. Maybe we can even work in the shower. Yeah, I sure could use one. Well, John, I had a really good time. Family's a lot of fun. Thanks for dragging me home. Bye.
John, why didn't you come and talk to me about this right away? You told me not to. Robert? Robert. Which one? That way. Right over there. That's where he was? Yeah. This is not good, John. You know that. There he is. Right over there. things so terrible that this was your only alternative? You've put us in a bad spot here, son. What you've done isn't legal. Please don't call the police. All I did was run away. I just needed some time to think. That's all. Yeah. It's late. You can sleep on the couch. I got bunk beds. Talk in the morning. Thank Good night. you. I think the only thing we can do is let him stay here a while. I don't feel good inviting him into our home knowing nothing about him. I think we either talk to his parents or the police. We don't even know what he ran away from. Does he look like a liar to you? Does he look like a kid on drugs? Looks like a stranger. We got kids of our own to worry about. He's a good boy, I can tell. There's something about him, I can't explain it. If our son was out there, wouldn't you want someone to help him? Okay. But I don't want him alone in the house, and I don't want him alone with Sally. Not unless we know more about him. Okay. Right there. You got any brothers or sisters? No. No, just me. What are your parents like? They're basically nice people. Dad's a real take charge kind of guy, workaholic. Mom's a lot of fun and smart. She raises money for different causes. So why'd you leave? They let me down, and I just couldn't stay there any longer. I need time to think. Well, what? About myself. Like, um, who am I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, John, tell me, what's it like having a sister, huh? Ah, oh, Sally's okay. I could uh, kill her when she goes through my stuff, though. <laughs> Ever wish you had a brother? I did. A long time ago, you were just looking at him. He died? He was stolen. You kidding? No. Right out of the backyard. I was one, Greg was two. You were playing. Mom went to answer the phone and uh, someone grabbed him. Wow. 
parents ever talk about it. Not so many words. Mom gets real emotional over the holidays and on birthdays. Dad does too, but he doesn't show it as much. I think about him. I wonder where he is. He's okay. What does he look like? Would we be friends? You know, stuff like that. When's his birthday? January 6th. Uh, mine's in March. I get my learner's permit next year. <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh, January. Yes, sir. Stay, John. This involves you, too. Now, we can't let you sleep out in the woods. But we can't duck our responsibility as parents either. Ruth and I have decided that if you want to, you can stay here for a little bit while you work things out with your folks. But there are strings attached. Now, do you want to stay? Yes, sir. I want your word that you're not mixed up with drugs or drinking. And if I find out you've done anything that could hurt Sally or John, I will turn you right over to the police. You have my word, sir. I'll accept that. Now, the other thing is, you call home today. But I have to. The sooner you start fixing this up with your mom and dad, the better. I can't tell them where I am. It's not fair to let them worry. If you can't tell them where you are, at least tell them you're safe. All right. All right, okay. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, we have to get to work so we can keep this family in shoes. I'm staying. I know. Are you brothers and sisters, Robert? No, ma'am. Well, this ought to be an interesting experience for you. John, you know, your mother goes to a lot of trouble cooking for you. The least you could do is taste it on the way down. Did you make that phone call? Yes, sir. You know, I've been thinking, uh, I'd like to do something to help earn my keep around here. Maybe you need some help at the shop or, or at the station. Yeah, I don't know. No one's ever asked before. Yeah, I guess I could. What about mornings on the pump? How'd that be? Great. You got it. You done? Okay. What's the matter with you? Okay. Well, I think I'll go get cleaned up, go over surprise Ruth, take her to lunch. You know what I mean, John? Think you guys can handle this without me? Sure. Did you see that? Oh, because you amazing. score, you don't walk oh. in, you run it, in. You, you keep the game going. You might not be the healthiest you the map, but you yes. know yes. how to play. Yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Talk some more. Let's get out of here. But I thought we were going to pick up Robert. I said, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Anything else, hon? Yes. I'm looking for my son. I 
think you found him. Hello. Hello. My daughter, a regular Grandma Moses. Yeah. Are you Ruth? Yes, I'm Ruth. Well, the uh, waitress across the street suggested that I talk to you. She said that you mentioned seeing an unfamiliar teenage boy in the area. I've been driving from town to town, practically all over Ohio, looking for him. Is this your son? Yes. Is this the boy that you saw? Yes. Oh, thank God he's safe. Thank God. I've been torturing myself thinking that, that he was hurt or... No, he's not hurt. Do you know where he is now? When was the last time that you saw him? He's been staying with me and my family. He made friends with my son and... When we heard about Robert's situation, we took him in. Oh, thank you for that. You have no idea what I've been through. I, I kept seeing him lying by the side of the road or <sighs> being picked up by someone with a knife or, or hungry and cold. <laughs> Do you know how it feels? I lost a little boy. It was a long time ago. I still think about him every day. I wonder if he's healthy. I wonder if he's happy. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Your boy is safe. I want to see him. I don't know what went on that made Robert run away. He's... He's a nice boy. And you seem like a nice lady. I'm concerned for my own kids. I don't want them upset by anything that might happen between you. I'd prefer if you didn't come to our house. I understand. Here's our number. Call him tonight. And you can arrange to meet someplace. Is there any way that I could talk to him now? I don't know where he is now. But he'll be home at 6.30 for dinner. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. He is a good boy, isn't he? Uh, he didn't leave because he did something bad. No, he didn't do anything wrong. He's the best son you could ever ask for. Fish. In 20 minutes, whether you like it or not. Hope you're making extra potatoes. You're still gonna eat the fish. I'd love to get my hands on the guy who came up with this cholesterol thing. You know, the way Sally's list is growing here, old Sam is gonna have to build an addition just to have all this stuff. You'll never guess who came into the shop today. Who? Oh. Carolers. Oh, that's nice, honey. I know you love all this Christmas stuff. I'm going to go take a shower now. Good idea. I miss you today after school, John. We didn't play today. Where's Nova Salshies? Nova Scotia? Anyway, Mrs. Delmel said get if it. we didn't be quiet, we'd have to go to Nova Scotia. Now, where's that? Hello? Nova Scotia is near Maine. 
It's for you. Excuse me. Hello? Where's me? Uh, I'm right in the middle of dinner right now. Wait until Robert's off the phone. No, tonight's not good. Okay. Okay, after lunch tomorrow. I made a friend. We're gonna meet tomorrow. Philip, I found him. He's safe. He's staying with them. Yeah, I, I, I met her. She's wonderful. When I realized who she was, you know, I, I, I didn't know what to do. Part of me wanted to tell her to take away her pain, and part of me wanted to get as far away from her as I possibly could. He's coming to the hotel tomorrow after lunch. There's a flight that can get you here by 11. Philip, I need you here with me. I know that I can't do this alone. All right. What do you think you're doing? That's my business. No, it isn't. You're, you're still our son. I'm not your son. Legally, you're our son. Robert. What are they like? They're okay. I've got a brother and a sister. John's 15, Sally's 7. My dad has a gas station. Mom works in a shop. I know. I met her. How do we stack up? Look, that's not what this is about. No, what is it about? Isn't that what you're doing? Remembering every time we hurt you or disappointed you, comparing it with the way they treat you? No. No, it's not like that. No, what is it like? I'm, what are you doing? You're going to live here as some kind of runaway? Philip, please. Robert, are you going to tell them? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I want you to come home with us. Please. No. I can't do that. I want you to give me another chance. Robert. Are you going to tell him? Meet your friend? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was all right. Good. Christmas. I love Christmas. I love the smell of pine cones, and I love Christmas caroling. Does your family do anything special on Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, my mom bakes a lot, and my dad makes his eggnog, and my grandfather uh, bakes his annual Christmas toast. Oh, that's nice. Earl and I have a tradition we've been doing it since 11th grade every christmas eve we go out together then we separate buy each other's presents and then we meet for dinner i really look forward to it the kids do too they wrap our packages while we're gone and they eat too many cookies
honey. If you need me, I'm here. What's it going to be? This one. It's perfect. Perfect. Daddy! Daddy! What are you doing out here without your coat on? It's Saturday. Yeah, so it's Saturday. So what? I get my allowance, and I need it back, but I can't tell you why. No, is it a secret? Okay. It's a secret. So, drop it. Thanks. Okay. Since it seems to be payday, gentlemen, Robert. Oh no, please. Man works for me, gets paid. Thanks. John, not sure if I should give this to you until we see how you do on that exam next week. You've been studying. Yeah, I got time. Yeah. Don't forget, you're going to clean up the backyard today. I, I told you yesterday I'd get it done. You I told me it. yesterday. Well, I'll do it. No, I'll do it, okay? Some help studying, John? You know, you'd be surprised what even Hicks know how to read. Look, I didn't mean it that way, John. I just thought it might go quicker if I helped you. Uh, your father says you're going to be a great mechanic. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know, parents can be so weird. They get these ideas about who you are, and they think that's the truth. My dad sees me as a lawyer. He even got me this part-time job at a law firm after school. I don't know, maybe he's right. I mean, who can determine how the future will turn out, right? You got some point you're trying to make? No. No, I'm just talking. Come on, we don't have all day. I think it'll be fine when the other stuff gets on. Robert, how come you're not out with John tonight? Um, I'm just going to meet up with him a little later. Okay, here we go. The Baby angel. Baby Christmas. Whoa, whoa. Uh, maybe, dear. Yeah.
Hey, John. John, what do you think you're doing, huh? This is a private party, man. Look, this has nothing to do with you. It's between me and my... It's between me and John. John, come on. We're going home. John, come on. Who the hell do you think you are, huh? You come barging into my life and start telling me what to do? Well, I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it. If I want a drink, I will. And nobody, especially you, is going to tell me what to do. Nice scarf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marnie, we should start on the tree. Where have you been? Your mother's been worried sick about you. Robert got home two hours ago. Here's what time Robert got on. Watch your mouth, boy. Look, I'm sorry. I forgot about the time. Can I go to bed now? This is not over, young man. We will talk about this after church. Go to bed. Go. Go. I don't know what gets into him sometimes. He knows how I get when I don't know where he is. He did it, Ted said. Oh, John doesn't do anything like that. It's time for Robert to go home. Robert's got nothing to do with this. What's he doing here? It's been over two weeks, and as far as we know, he hasn't talked to his parents since that first day. He's thinking about his situation. And he's running away from it. It's the holidays, when families should pull together, and here we are arguing. You and me, John and Robert, Robert and his folks, it's just not right. He needs us. Ruthie. Ruthie, you know I love you. All I've ever wanted is to make you happy. We're the best family I know. But you can't replace Greg with Robert. He's not our boy. He belongs with his own mom and dad. If they knew he was here... They know he's here. She came to see him. When? Last week she came in the shop. I was afraid you'd make him go away. Is she still here? No. Last week. I, I was going to tell you. I know we don't keep secrets. I was afraid that you'd make him go away.
I'm not talking today about the story of Christmas, but rather spiritually what Christmas means. It's not about presents, it's not about turkey dinners, it's not about a few days off from work. It is a time to look within, to discover what is truly important. It is a time to join together, one to another, celebrating the gift, the wonder of life. You're throwing too hard, John. What have I done, huh? Give me the ball. Look, are you angry at me because I'm working for your father? Give me the ball. Is that it? I said, give me the ball. Look, I am sorry, John. I'm sorry if you're mad at me. I can quit if you want, but that is all I can do, all right? You can leave. I've got just as much right to be here as you. I don't care how much you like my parents, or you like my sister, or you like me. But that's my home. I live there. You're just passing through, man. thought that the value of a man was in how well he took care of his family. You know, that's the way I was raised. And I worked very hard to take care of you guys, to take care of you, Robert and But the truth is, and I didn't even realize it until today, is that what you really needed was me, just me. If he chooses them, no. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. I was wondering if you're busy. I hear there's this new little Italian place you want to try. Earl, I'm sorry. I believe I might be available. I have to check with my wife first, though. Probably Friday, but call first. I wouldn't want you to come in for no reason. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Hi. You don't look so good. What's the matter? Robert?
Honey, what is it? Um. I'm. Is it your family? I don't know where I belong. It's not easy being 16. It's not easy being a parent. You worry all the time that your children are healthy, that they're getting everything they need. The toughest part? trying to figure out what's best and then do it you're bound to make mistakes i know i have you think you're doing the right thing then you make a mistake you don't mean it and on any other day nothing would happen but there you are you've hurt your child and there's nothing you can do to make it better Robert, I don't know what your parents did. But it's not right to make them suffer. They must be punishing themselves even more than you are. Let them know you forgive them. I'm sure they're sorry. I know they love you. You're a wonderful young man. I'd be proud to call you my own. Give them a chance. It's Christmas. You're going to be late for dinner. Why do you care, John? Don't. My mom sent me. Come on. I've had it with you, man. Why don't you just go home? I don't understand you, John. I mean, all I wanted to be was your friend. I really thought you liked me. I did like you. But it was just like... You were the good guy and I was the bad guy. I'm sorry. Oh, I am so sorry, John. I guess I really not, never thought how this would affect you. Face hurt. No. It's killing me. on a plate in the kitchen. His milk is poured. It's in the refrigerator. I mean, this is the number for the restaurant. And would you please walk Tammy home right after dinner? Sure. Okay. All right. Night night. Hello. You guys look so nice. I thought you might like a picture. Oh, oh thank fine. you. Now, Tammy, you ever used one of these before, huh? All right, look. It's real easy. Just look through that little hole there. Hold your breath and push that button. Okay. Come on, guys. Tammy's gonna take our picture. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Monroe. Uh, Neil, right here. Neil, right yeah. Here. John, you're in front. <laughs> Sally, right yeah. Come on, you're shrinking. <laughs> oh, that was very good, right. well, Tammy. Well, 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 right there. One more, Tammy. One more, one more. You're getting good at this. 
Okay. Terrific. All right, yeah. Sally, I want you in bed at 8 o'clock. You guys in bed by 10. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Merry Christmas. Good night. Good night. Merry Christmas. One while we wait for the others. This colored paper's from Robert. Really? Look, Mommy. Right here. Just what I wanted. Mm. Can I get everybody up now? Um, I guess so. Dear, I don't know what to call you. Mrs. Monroe seems so formal when I feel so close to you. I think I'll call you Ruth because you feel like my friend. I hope that's all right. Merry Christmas, Mom. What you said about forgiveness makes a lot of sense. People do make innocent mistakes that end up hurting someone. But blame doesn't do any good. People have to forgive themselves before hurts can heal. Now I hope you forgive yourself because it wasn't your fault. You had no idea someone was going to run off and, and take your baby. Maybe you're wondering why I'm writing you this. The reason is that I love you, and I don't want to see you suffer anymore. I want you to know that, that I'm happy, that I have a good life. You were right about my parents. They love me very much, and I love them. We're a family now. I felt lots of love at your house, but my home is with them. You can stop worrying and always remember that I love you. Dear son, Greg. Thank <laughs> you. 